what's up youtube family we are back again with another nba 2k 23 next gen build and of course i've been hearing that a lot of you guys are super sweaty and you guys want one of the best nba 2k 23 popper builds okay this is going to change the game so if you're watching this video make sure to smash a like on it because you're definitely going to love this build right here that we got for you but if you're new here hit the subscribe button ring the bell let's get straight into the build all right so for our position we are going with the power forward position our hand we're going right-handed i usually make all of my players right-handed and then your jersey number is completely up to you okay now we're gonna go ahead and choose our body settings. This is where we're going to actually be dominating the game. Now, 2K is based on two things, height and speed. If you got the height and the speed, you're a demigod, all right? So for our height, we went with six foot nine. For our weight, we're gonna drop this to 221, just like that. And then for our wingspan, we're going to go seven foot seven, okay? seven seven wingspan now we're tall we're pretty much going to be a little fast and on top of that we got some long arms okay so we kind of got the best out of um all three worlds but for our body shape i always go defined you, you can do whatever you want here but defined just seems like your arms get a little longer i don't know maybe it's just me but y'all let me know but defined just looks better on this build so we're gonna go defined. Now, when it comes to choosing our potentials, this is where this build is going to be different, okay? Choosing our potentials, we're gonna start with our finishing. Our close shot is going to be at 53. Our driving layup, we put just a little bit on the driving layup, and that's going to be a 63. And then for our driving dunk, we had to outdo the last two stats. So we went with an 80 driving dunk. So we will be able to attack the rim. And then for our standing dunk, we're not doing too many standing dunks. I'm not gonna lie to you. So we went with a 58 for our standing dunk. Now keep in mind, this is a popper build. This is strictly a, it's pretty much going to be a comp popper build. I think it's comp. Y'all let me know what y'all feel about it down below. If you know, everybody got their own opinions about comp and whatnot nowadays, but we're gonna go to our shooting. Now this shooting stats, are is definitely going to make this build even more op than it needs to be so our mid-range if you cannot shoot with a 71 mid-range then something must be wrong maybe your controller is broken i don't know but mid-range 71 that is way more than enough that you actually need and then for r3 we're going with an 82 three-pointer so when we hit this 82 three-pointer you see we got the catch and shoot we on gold so we go we aim to get the catch and shoot badge we core that badge now you guys have a whole bunch of extra badge points to put on anything else that you want okay if you're a popper build then you of course you're going to want you know a little bit of the amped you're going to want the midi ma magician you're going to definitely want that volume shooter but for our free throw we went with a 59 free throw we didn't want to spend too much on the free throw just because this is mainly going to be a park build for me so y'all let me know if y'all would put more on the free throw and try to use this for rec y'all let me know by the end of the video but for our playmaking we're going to go with a 75 pass accuracy just so we have a little bit of pass accuracy on this build we don't want to just be throwing it away out of any random moment so we went with a 75 pass accuracy and a ball handle of a 43 speed with ball will be a 30 we're not dribbling with this build whatsoever we are poppers okay set a screen cut slip like do do something all right move around you know hover over the top of the key like do something but mainly you're here to spread the floor now when it comes to defense we had to put a little bit of defense if this bill can only shoot he can't dribble he can't you know get all these crazy contact dunks on somebody then the least he can do is be able to not get points put up on him okay so defense and shooting is where we went with for this build and our interior defense is going to be an 86 and then we wanted to make sure that if we were put in a situation where we had to switch we would not be a mismatch out here for show so you know we went with the perimeter defense of an 86 as well we'll be able to switch off of pretty much anything 
if we want to guard the one through five we possibly can okay so for our steel we went with an 85 for our steel so we can play those passing lanes for our blocking ability we went with a 99 we were aiming to go and definitely capitalize on that hall of fame anchor so we went for that offensive rebound we are going with an 88 for our offensive rebound we want to be able to um get rebounds for our team second chance points would be nice and then also on defense we wanted to make sure that we got that rebound chaser on hall of fame as well so we went with a 99 defensive rebound so looking at this build so far we got eight finishing 17 shooting eight playmaking and 32 defensive slash rebounding badges so looking at the badges we're looking pretty nice okay having clamps on this build so we can switch and guard the guards if we need to having some dominant hall of fame rebounding badges like this is crazy bro this is crazy so we're gonna go ahead and move on to our physicals so for our physicals we went with a speed of a 77 our acceleration we're going to go 71 our strength we have to make sure Whoa, 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 I messed up here. I messed up. My fault, y'all. I've been messing up lately. I'm sorry. Our speed, we're going to go with an 80 speed. Our acceleration, we're going to go with a 76. Our strength, we're going with a 70 strength. Our vert is an 86. And then our stamina, we're putting the rest on stamina to get him in us at 85. I apologize, y'all. This is what the build is looking like right now. Of course, you, you guys see we have the speed to keep up on defense. We have the strength to box out. We we got the badges to get rebounds. We got the vert so we can catch lobs. Like, this is definitely going to be a good popper build out there in these My Park streets, baby. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and continue. We're going to choose our takeovers. For me, I would probably go maybe a box out wall. If not, if you're, you know, if you're content with just having, you, you don't need any extra boost to your, to your rebounding and whatnot, then you can easily go with, you know, the popper badges for sure. You could go with the, um, I would go, I'll probably go limitless first and then spot up precision, or I would go double limitless. Like it is completely up to you and how you want to mix and match these badges, but you do get some fairly decent badges. So like, you know, glass cleaning uh the interior defense jumps like bro what then you got the perimeter jumps like you could really go crazy low-key but for this video we're just gonna go and double up on limitless range and then complete our build now after this build is all said and done of course you have one of the most amazing poppers out here and I, I actually kind of dig the shades of i'm not gonna lie to you but we have successfully created a two-way stretch glass cleaner we're going to be getting boards we're going to be shooting threes we're going to be shooting mid-range bro there, there's there's so many things you could do with this build so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did then make sure to let me know by smashing a like on the vid and trust me so many more builds are coming out for you guys i know some of you guys have been struggling with creating these builds because the builder this year is actually pretty challenging i'm not going to lie it's been taking me a little bit to um even create these builds so show some appreciation by smashing a like if you're new here hit the subscribe button ring the bell so you guys will be notified for all of our future videos now say you like popper builds right but you also want a dominant post scoring build there's tons of them out there right now and i got the one for you this dude is going to be able to shoot he's going to be able to just do everything you want out of a post scoring center build so if you're interested in that video make sure to click on the video on this end card screen and i will see you all in this video next